Okay, this tutorial is about internet connection sharing and how you could set that up wirelessly on your laptop. So let's say you have a situation where you have a wireless cellular card that goes in through your USB on your laptop. Like right here in this picture, you see this laptop in the center has a USB wireless card and it has a wireless connection to a cell phone, uh, cell tower, and it has internet access but you're let's say in a store and you want to like uh, uh, share internet now to your two friends who have laptops but they don't have cellular cards and they don't want to pay to get on the wireless hotspot in this business because they charge money so how could you share your um, your wireless signal wirelessly to your two friends so in other words how do you do internet connection sharing and do it wirelessly the thing with internet connection sharing and internet connection sharing is very cool and the way it works normally is you've got a wireless internet connection let's say and then you turn on internet connection sharing and it allows you to share your internet turns your laptop into a router so to speak and allows you to share your internet connection out of your ethernet port through and then you could put it uh, connect a cable to a hub and then you could connect users let's say to the hub right you could do it that way right or you could let's say you have an internet connection and you want to share it you turn on internet connection sharing and you could share it directly with a crossover cable to another computer right so these are certain ways that you could do this right um, the problem is that when you turn on internet connection sharing and I'm gonna open up my control panel here and I've opened up my control panel and I've gone into network and internet and I've gone into network connections right and the thing is is that when you turn on internet connection sharing it works really well if you're sharing it out of your local area connection out of your ethernet NIC from your wireless to your ethernet but what if you want to share out of your wireless you can see here that Windows has this virtual wireless connection right it's like a virtual Wi-Fi mini port uh, wireless network connection too but it's hard to share out of this uh, mini port um, I've had success using internet connection sharing but not out of this wireless port. To turn on internet connection sharing traditionally what you can do is you just right click you hit properties right on your wireless connection where your internet's coming in and you click sharing and you click allow and then you click the connection that you want to share out of. Now if you do it through the wireless connection you'll find that it doesn't quite work but if you do it out of the local area connection you'll find that it does work right and and basically what you're doing when you do that I'll just click OK so now my connection is shared from wireless out of my Ethernet so what I need to do now is kind of like in this picture I could put a cable to a hub or a switch and then I could connect computers to that and then they would have internet access when you set up internet connection sharing you turn yourself into a router in other words here's a wireless router right here on this side the wireless router is connected to the WAN, right, which goes out to the internet, goes to this cable or DSL modem, which then goes out to the cloud, which is the internet. And then on this side is the LAN, and we have um, wireless clients that connect to the LAN, right? So you have the WAN on this side of the wireless router, and you have the LAN on this side. Well, when you set up internet connection sharing on your computer, you have um, the, where the internet's coming in becomes your quote unquote WAN side and then out of this side is your LAN side. The problem is what if you want to do it the way I suggested here and that is I've got this cell uh, cellular connection and I want to share it wirelessly to my uh, friends who have wireless cards on their laptops but they don't have cell cards so how would you do that? Well if you try to set it up here it won't quite work because you need to have an SSID on to turn yourself into a wireless router and it doesn't seem to work with internet connection sharing but here's a solution that you can use that will help solve this problem I'm gonna turn off internet connection sharing here okay so I'll go to sharing and I'll turn this off right I'll click OK right so alright that took so now I'm gonna do this again just to show you one more time if I was to click on sharing here and click allow others to use my connection and then I want to pick wireless but it's not seeming to work 
right? It doesn't seem to quite work. What you could do is there's a cool application that this company has made. I'm going to take you to the website right now. If you go to virtual router, virtual router dot codeplex dot com, you'll see this website. Okay, so virtual router dot codeplex dot com, and then you can donate. It's a free download. Uh, they will accept donations, but if you can download the program, it's an MSI file that you can install. And when you install it, it installs this very cool program that allows you to share your internet connection wirelessly. So I'll show you how that works. I'm going to go here to start. I'm going to start the program. You can see I have it already installed, Virtual Router Manager. And I'm going to start it up. OK, there it is. And it allows you to put, I already have it on here, I'll stop it. Um, it allows you to put an SSID in here, right? So you can put an SSID right here at the top. You can see I have it, it says virtual router. Then you can put a uh, eight character password. I've just put the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And then you choose the connection you want to share out of. So I'm going to click, I want to share out of my wireless network connection. So now I hit start virtual router. Now have a, I'll have an SSID so that other computers can actually connect to my machine and, and share my internet connection wirelessly. So I click start my virtual router and now I will go to another computer and I'll get a client and show you that when you have a client connected it'll show up here in this peers area. You see how it says peers connected zero? Well I'll, I'll go to my other computer and show you that there's a peer that can connect. But this is very very cool. Now it sets up internet connection sharing kind of in these traditional way but it allows you to do it wirelessly so when you set up internet connection sharing you turn your computer basically into a router It sets up routing right it sets up NAT services uh, network address translation from let's say a WAN port to a LAN port with a private IP address range it'll hand out IP addresses to your clients so they'll pick that information up automatically DNS names will be resolved as a kind of like a pass-through so DNS will be forwarded out to whatever the DNS server is normally for your uh, laptop and so on the WAN side of your laptop you'll have some IP address and on the LAN side um, with internet connection sharing you get uh, addresses in the 192.168.173 range and you'll get addresses here and then your computer will usually be 192.168 173.1. If you want to check that, I have it on right now. Let's see what what we have here. We can go look. I'll put in a CMD here. Open up a command prompt and do an IP config. Whoops, got to spell it right. And you can see here that sure enough. I've got an IP address on my wireless side. That's my WAN side now. Okay, this is my WAN. But then I also have the virtual wireless, which is that virtual connection, has been used too. And it's been given that 192.168.137.1 um, address. And so I've become a router, and this will be the gateway for the clients who connect. And so I'll go to another system right now and try to connect. Okay, as you can see, I have picked up a client through my virtual router management uh, version 0.9 beta tool and I've, uh, share, I'm sharing uh, my wireless connection through my wireless NIC on my laptop to another computer on the network. And once again, the virtual router uh, manager is doing it with this little tool that works with internet connection sharing. So this works in conjunction with internet connection sharing, but it allows you to put an SSID right on your shared um, on your shared connection so that you can share your internet out of your wireless port. And it allows you to put an SSID so that clients can connect to the SSID. It also allows you to put a password. You can see here it needs an eight character password. I've just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's sharing it through my virtual wireless card that comes automatically with Windows. So this is a very handy tool for allowing you to share your, um, your network connection.